Hey, what is going on, guys? It's MJ21 AK Mozmarks AK Hidden Lotus. Today we're back with another video. And uh, yo, is this thing on, my G? Is this thing on? Yeah, how long has it been since I uploaded the video, guys? It's been four weeks. If I, if I said week, but it's not mistaken, we are back with another video. Sorry, I've been gone for about four weeks. Um, your boys have been busy, man. Your boys have been busy with a lot of stuff. Uh, we back, man. I found the camera and everything. We about to get back to to recording. Why not come back with some good? Something fresh, something new to the channel, something about something, something we've never really watched here on the channel, right, right, right? I mean, I mean, I watch them all my off time, you feel me, uh, off camera, but show and see. Probably one of the best uh, music reviewers on YouTube. This is the first time I ever brought him to my channel. You know, we ever, well, we ever watched him like this together on the channel. Uh, show and see is easily one of my favorite, like, music YouTubers. Uh, he's actually the only person I watch. Him and uh, the, the internet's busiest music nerd, uh, Needle Drop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I mainly watch those two guys for uh, reactions, reviews, when it comes down to like music and everything, you know, albums and uh, album reactions. I, I mainly watch Sean C because I really feel like he get. I don't know, I just feel like he kind of, he's really, I don't know, I, I just, I like his opinion. I really love his opinion. I really love what he has to say has today. And I agree with him uh, about 90, maybe 85% of the time with some of the stuff that he does say. Uh, yeah, I don't really disagree with him when it comes down to a whole lot. I mean, I kind of, I, I respect his opinion. When I do disagree with him, that's pretty, you know, I respect his opinion, of course. It's nothing like I've gone, gone too far and be like, yo, man, the freak is you talking about? Now, the only thing I will say is, when he inter reviewed, uh, what was it, Dro from Lu it was Lupe Fiasco's album. I don't know, it was Drogo's, Drogo's Wave. I forgot, I forgot, it was, it, he did an album review for Lupe Fiasco's new uh, album that came like a few years ago. And boy, I dislike that review so much. That's probably the only thing I did not like about. Uh, that's probably the only thing I, I truly disagree with all uh, with Sean C's videos is the Drogo's Wave, uh, Lupe Fiasco. I don't know. I, it, it was some Lupe, Lupe's album. I disagree with Sean so much, mate. But so today we got Drake versus Kanye hit battle. Now I am a huge. I'm not so much of a huge Drake fan like I once was, but I am a huge Kanye fan. I think Kanye is. Arguably the greatest rapper of all time. I think you could play. He's either number one or number two, or number three. Um, Andre three thousand. I think Andre three thousand is definitely like top five. You could, you could replace so these Nas. You put Jay Z in there, Kanye. But I think Kanye is the greatest rapper of all time. He's easily, probably top three. My, one of my favorite artists of all time. I love Kanye. I love Kanye. I defend this man. So much, but when he does like this dumb, dumb stuff a lot, a lot of other times, bro, I'm like, yo, it's hard to defend you, my G. But I still love Kanye. I love Kanye, bro. I, you know, I was just listening to my Twisted Dark, uh, Twisted Dark Fantasy, uh, you know, last, you know, something like yesterday and early, early last week and everything, because like his 10 year anniversary and stuff like that. And uh, I love Kanye, bro. And uh, the Kanye is easily probably the greatest rapper of all time, easily. I'm on side with Jay Z as well, Nas, Andre 3000. But, um, and Drake. Now, I have a love, listen, I love, a, listen, I have a love and hate relationship when it comes down to Drake. I, listen, Drake is one, it's what I, it's all, he'll always be one of my favorite ar artists of all time, dog. I don't care. He will always be one of my favorite artists of all time. Uh, but I, 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 doing this whole, uh, freaking, uh, club bangers and everything. I like when he's spitting, like when he's spitting and everything. And I think I'm happy Sean C is doing stuff like this because, you know, we really get to see, you know, like, the old, like, old style of Drake and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, how Drake used to be before he started doing this whole club banger bull crap and all that other mess. You feel me? But it's going to be a good video, man. But uh, I'm not going to see you guys this time. Let me know. Let me know comments up below. Who y'all got? Kanye or Drake? Let me know. Let's check it out. Knowing how much people want hit battles between people they deem as legendary artists. Recently, we had a hit battle between Jeezy and Gucci Mane. Easily the best hit battle that we'd seen over quarantine by far. It was uh -huh. not as Hello. close as a lot of people seemed to think it would be, either because people thought them, uh... that because these are two Southern legends that it would immediately have to be some type of tiebreaker, or there are just not enough people that listen to Jeezy's music like that. Regardless of whichever one it was, it was very entertaining, but some people were shocked that it was as uneven as it was throughout majority of it and that's how i kind of feel a drake versus kanye west would be i think people immediately assume because these are two powerhouses and that they've both had incredible hits 
that the hits that's that facts, man. Are that's facts. All that's facts, because bro. Because of that, and so when people think of a Kanye West, they're like, oh well, Drake should be right next to him in terms of hits. Well, Drake is a hit king, you know. He's yeah, he a, is. He's a billboard Drake king. Drake is definitely you know, he's a, a hit chart king, king, man. Anything, champagne listen, poppy. I'm not listen, calling I'll be the first to say. After everything that Drake's, we're not the first to say. Anything that Drake drops, fans will eat that shit up, whether it's trash or not, dog. Fans will eat it up, bro. And me, no. If it's trash, it's trash. I ain't gonna eat it up, man. I listen to it because I am a Drake. I am a somewhat of a Drake fan, but I ain't gonna eat it up. I'll give you my honest opinion. Accomplished. There's no reason why he shouldn't be in the same class as a Kanye West. But after doing these comparisons, after after putting Drake songs against Kanye songs in something of a 20 round verses that I've made up, I don't know if it's as close as niggas would like for it to be. All this yeah. verses did was get me to appreciate Drake and Kanye West more for the music they've delivered. So no shade or no hate or no shame on either of these artists, whether they win or lose each round. Oh, but guys. This Hold is what on. a verses would look like. All right, we back, we back, we back. My fault, guys. Make songs All against right. Kanye songs in something of a 20-round verses that I've made up. I don't know if it's as close as niggas would like for it to be. All this verses did was get me to appreciate Drake and Kanye West more for the music they've delivered. So no shade or no hate or no shame on either of these artists, whether they win or lose each round. But this is what a verses would look like. From my perspective, from what I believe to be their better songs, I don't want to even say better songs because if it were better songs, I would probably just grab a bunch I put of that down. album cuts, and we can't just do that. I tried to actually find some music that had either charted, some music that a lot of people knew about, but at the same time was some form of decent or quality outside of having to go to an album to get the deep cuts. I'm not going to play every song because copyright. But there are <laughs> yeah. some songs that I'm going to completely I'm push looking, over. Hey, I'm, I'm, the I'm first curious. round, I guess, oh. would be something like Six God versus Can't Tell Me Nothing. Trust me, I tried to give Drake a better chance. I could not find a uh song. I can't somewhat tell me match nothing. the description or the intensity six or the guy energy or, or the confidence of a six god that was worse than can't tell me nothing i literally tried my hardest to find my least favorite kanye west songs in some of these rounds to try to give drake some form of chance and i still think that he's losing out to can't tell me nothing just because yeah. i'm saying can't tell me nothing is taken the first round does not mean six god is immediately a trash song you was popping back when usher wore a yu chain god damn yu chain, you chain. <laughs> Yeah. He's not about to just sleep on the bars. Hey so man, I hey. Me is gonna go to Kanye. Can't tell me nothing. That's an yeah, that's a that's a classic. That's a classic. Two. But man, six guys Tuscan definitely Leather right there though, man. Versus father stretch my hands. Oh, I don't know what shit. the fuck to do. And y'all not about to just oh, watch guys. me through it. I want you to take your father stretch my hands is a freaking classic, dog. Or Tuscan leather. Getting 20 million off the record just to off these records, nigga. That's the record. I did not make 20 million, Drake. Bro, I'm sorry, man, but like as a, as a spitter. You know, somebody that's just rapping. I'm giving this to Drake. I'm sorry. Father Stretch My Hands is amazing. I know. It really is. Yeah, I don't Kanye. know, Sean. I'm get it from the A's, I don't man. know, I bro. I... Now, but he's not ordaining this track hard enough for it to beat out Tuscan Leather. It's just not happening. I mean, Tuscan like Leather is, right? is, like is, is beautiful. Cuts. I Survive love that this song, next bro. One. Keep the family close versus Ultra Light Beam. Survive. This is a God dream thing. Dog, Kanye really took us to church like every album. He really it was did, an though. Amazing he really experience. did. We were having Sunday service he before really did, it was Sunday bro. service. After just hearing that intro cut, I gotta give it to Ultra Light Beam. I mean, I, I thought yeah. it would be a harder choice seeing it written down, but they're both they're both cinematic. One is gospel cinema, and then the other one is like cold, wintry, atmospheric, uh, snowy cinema. But when you listen to this Kanye record, it's so warm, bright, inviting, and celebratory. It's so it's so like triumphant. I, I love Keep the Family Close. It's the only good song off Views, in my opinion. Fuck you, I already know. Yeah, you hey, know, hey, hey, we all agree that Views wasn't that great. Just we can all, be, we can all agree with that. Is Hotline Bling versus Gold Digger. I'm pretty sure. Oh, come on, that's easy, Gold Digger. Nah, 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 I ain't saying she a Gold Digger. Nah, 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 Good enough, and I like how Line Bling. I do. I, no, like I do. Bling, I do. But, but is it really beating out? Wait, bro, I was playing so much over the radio when I saw it first came on. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
my God. Hotline Bling is not touching that. That was my yeah, childhood. Yeah, go, those, go, 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 those drums like made me almost get up out of my seat. Almost, but I'm cool and calm and collected this video. Yeah, like that's, song, yeah, go, that's, that's, that's that was just a waste. Man, that was a waste listen, of time. I hope y'all are keeping track because I'm not. I, I totally forgot what the numbers were already. But next round, we have All Falls Down versus Best I Ever Had. Both of these tracks are incredible. Do not get me wrong. Thanks. But if you think for one motherfucking second that I'm taking Drake over All Falls Down, you must have contracted that new new that we got in 2020 if you thought for one minute that I was choosing Best I Ever Had. I think what we have to acknowledge what, all this falls down? in the uh, verses is that Kanye West as a composer yeah, is just yeah, so I much agree, more talented than one. people have probably given him so credit far, for. So far, I disagree with Sean on one thing. I feel like probably stretched my hands exactly to be, I forgot what vocal uh, talents, knowing exactly song he, how he picked up for Drake in that round, but I, I don't know. I just hear you on that one. Sound of it. I feel like they, I think even hear your voice. Drake I'm fan, not right? listening to Best I Ever Had because of the instrumental. I'm listening to Best I Ever Had because of Drake. But with All Falls Down, even if Kanye West were not on this. Oh no, Kanye West! All Falls Down has it. But these are two incredible songs, man. These, these are two yeah, incredible songs. It's close. It's close. Powerhouse it's close. gems. The next one we on got a regular day, is successful. Versus heard him say, I didn't want Ooh. to put heard him say here. I had another track that I was gonna Ooh, put up heard against him successful. Say, bro. Uh, but man. we have to compare the the choruses, right? We gotta compare the hooks. Right. Who did better, Adam Levine on heard him say, or Trey Songs was successful? That's what we're comparing here. I think both of their verses are great. And I think they're both motivational and inspirational. I don't know if Trey Songz is beating Adam Levine on Nah, it, nah it's might. just the way Adam he Levine's might. vocals, bro. Cop cars, what I was seeing. Cop cars. Where are? Where did you go? Adam Levine just did so good. I might have to give it to him just off that one line. I don't think Drake had one bar on successful that was as hard as that one line. But I listened to that like 800 times in 2008, 2000. And it was a different experience. When the music video came out, it was iconic, bro. That was the first moment I even realized that Drake was light skinned. I didn't even know what the Adam Levine was definitely more more soulful in his yeah, verse, he was, though, he in was, his performance he was, he than Trey Songs was. I gotta I gotta admit that. We gotta know yourself. All right, we got Know Yourself going up against Dark Fantasy. And oh! Round, I don't know what fucking round it is right now. Like, Know Yourself is the whole reason I randomly, for like four years straight, just started saying shit, Kiwaria. Who the Shiki fuck Kiwaria. is Kiwaria? I don't know. I don't care. It was only years after I'd looked up the Yo. lyrics that I saw that he said Shaky Warrior, not shit, Kiwaria. Shaky Warrior. I don't know what the fuck I was saying for four years straight, but this song had me saying some dumb shit. Only an I'm iconic single yourself. I'm can sorry. give me the... Dark Fantasy, I... I'm, don't get me an wrong. Iconic song can get me to just make an ass out Dark Fantasy is definitely like an iconic song. It's a great care. song. Who's Ethan? Was pushing the Subaru hatch. Who's Ethan? We don't know. I was running through the six with my hose. <laughs> on bitches on bitches. This is what's this is what's hard about these two tracks. I know. The Kanye stands are saying right now, what do you mean it's hard? No, it is hard, all right? Shut up. Dark Fantasy is an amazing track. But it there's is. a moment during Know Yourself. But I'm picking I don't Know know Yourself, if it's a dog. scientific thing. It's a chemical that gets released. And this chemical, like, it just makes you black out. Right when the jingle comes in, right before he starts saying, I was running through the city. Right before he starts that, it's like the sound vibrates in your ears so heavily and yeah, so I know hard. The, uh, I, yeah, I actually know, know these sounds. First with Super Saiyan 2. And that little red beam crossed his eyes, like right behind his head, right before he was about to transform. This is what I imagine he was hearing in that very moment. I was running through the sea with my <laughs> This is the this is the hardest yeah? I've ever had to make in my life. Know yourself. Hey, hey. Don't want to stress I, yourselves I out. Let's compare Marvin's room. To devil in a new dress. Oh, I, 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 put, I set this whole situation up. Damn, Rick exactly Ross first, though? Really oh, come on, that. man. Uh, picking devils in a new dress easily, dog. Over what? Marvin's. Oh, but over Marvin's room? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Over. Oh, take care? Oh, man. Come on. I don't know, bro. That's a tough one, but I might have to pick because, bro, that Rick, bro, that Rick Ross verse, bro, was freaking beautiful. It was, it was amazing. That that song, that whole package of that song was just so beautiful. 
But Marvin's room, bro. Oh man, that nigga. No, that song. You know, it, it, that Marvin Marvin's room changed the whole game, dog. That song alone changed the whole game, bro. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to pick. Ah. Ah, that's a tough one. You guys got to let me know, man, but. So bad. Oh, my God, bro. Jeez. Marvin's room had me, the had me crying. In the Rick Ross verse. Come it's... on, man. You look at me and see it. You my sensation. <laughs> oh. Kanye, I'm sorry for ever comparing this nigga to you. I'm, I'm, I'm bad, bro. You, you got that. I'm sorry, but he don't. Because fuck that. Obviously, I want to go with Adele with a new dress because I'm more of a fan of sound. And Kanye has always delivered that for me for the most part. But Drake with these lines, man. The niggas on Twitter nowadays, you know, if they were making jokes about niggas back when Drake released Marvin's Room, it would have been a whole bunch more suicides. I guarantee it. Men were going through it at that time, all right? And Drake was delivering the medication. Imagine you hop on Twitter back the in 2011, the 2012, Drake talking about, man, potions. I don't know if she loved me no more. You know, I'm trying to win her back. Here's my lyrics. Here's my song. And you see some hip-hop Twitter nigga come under your comments talking about one out of ten. Trash. Simp. You're not making it through the rest of the year. Simp. You're not. Cock back, I never aim because I got zero misses. This nigga mad in my DMs because he got zero misses. I should go with Marvin's room. I really should. I really should, man. I want Drake to have something here. Devil in a New Dress, though, is hard. And I didn't even get to the Rick Ross feat. But is Devil in a New Dress really a hit, though? You know? Like, ah, yeah, song, yeah. Let's think about that. I shouldn't compare it to... It was a great song off of the off Kanye's album. It was a great song, but it wasn't really a hit, though. Marvin's Room is a freaking hit off of Drake's Take Care, dog. That, bro. Marvin's Room is a freaking masterpiece of a hit dog uh that so that, that's not a great song but it's not a hit though that's the thing it's not marvin's i don't know what i'm gonna do in my life i'm going with d devil in a new dress yeah I, yeah devil in, i mean listen devil in a new dress is Oh I my think God. The next round I think it's we better than uh, Marvin's room, but it's not a against hit against Otis. I made Jesus walk, so I'm never going to hell. Oh, oh man. God, is that a ball? But Drake got into his daddy issues on 0 to 100. Since my dad used to tell me he was coming to the house to get me. He ain't show a valuable lesson, man. It made me grow up. That's why I never ask for help. I do it for you niggas and do it for myself. In 0 to 100, it just became a thing. A thing that people say. Hey, like really, yo. With a lot yo, of yo, nowadays people are zero to one hundred is people's is in people's vocabulary now. Like people saying, well, people saying, like I say, I say, if, uh, say if somebody you go to the court one day, right? Be the best for court. Bulls he missing all these threes, right? He's at zero, right? And then boy, then like five minutes later, you see niggas just dunking on ball, five three straight, cause five three straight in the midi mitt mitts. Take it up to the rep, look, run, three, shit. And then, out of nowhere, boy, say, yo, eh, and then, like, the game's over. Boy, yo, bro, you good game, though. You went zero to on it, nigga, real quick. Real quick. Real fucking, you know, it's in everybody's vocabulary, man, G. It is, dog. It really is. So, I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I'll pick a zero to 100. I'm sorry. That he's made has just slowly entered people's vocabulary. What did Kanye say on Otis? Sophisticated ignorance. I think that's what he said. I write my curses in cursive. But that Otis writing sample is... That's what Kanye got going for him. The musicality of some of these tracks just puts them on different levels. But Drake has this cold, atmospheric tone to some of his music that just makes him come off as a secluded mobster i'm going with zero to 100 all right yeah, yeah, yeah. the next round Damn, we got yeah. you in the six versus kanye west's hey mama and this is an easy choice for me i'm going with hey mom just because you know it's the better written track to me but maybe not i don't know what drake say he basically told his mom i'm a savage i'm, I'm game of thrones with him mama like, he just really sitting his mom down to have a face-to-face -face conversation, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. Do I really give it? I'm giving it to you in the six, man. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a six guy, bro. I'm a, I'm a six guy. I got yeah, yeah. to do it. Next round is The Ride. I disagree, though, but, Versus yeah. Spaceship. Oh! 
Wait, wait, wait. Who, ooh, wait, who did he pick? I gotta, I gotta do. The next round is the ride versus spaceship. Bro, the sample. The, the Drake is just not touching. But if you listen to the ride, the weekend is also looped. I don't know. You won't feel me until everybody say they love you, but it's not love. You and your made it I don't know, bro. Drake is just talking. He's just. Dog, I want to gouge my eyes out. I'm sorry, bro, but like, dr sometimes Drake just be talking to me, man. I mean, Kanye bro, like I said, too, Drake when he just, wants to. Just where's my gun? The ride is one of my favorite tracks. Bro, that's why, bro, when Drake wants to, bro, he can go off. But he does. He, but he takes the other way around because he you know he wants to hit Billboard, whatever, whatever the case may be, right? But dog, when Drake really wants to hop in his bag, ain't nobody in the game better than him, bro. I'm sorry. When Drake is rapping, I mean, when he's rapping, not that soft, uh, hubby bubblegum, hubba bubba bull crap, dog. Drake, ain't nobody in the rap game is better than Drake, man. Ain't nobody is. There ain't nobody touching that, dog. Ain't I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. X man, all time. I, I didn't think I'd feel this way when I put these two next to each other. I thought Kanye had this one with a sweet. We bro. The ride oh, is hard. That crack music, no pun intended. You snort crack or do you like inject it? I'm not a crackhead, so anybody that's a, a crackhead in the comments or like been one, tell me how it goes. Like, do you shoot it? You know, like how do you still take crack rock nowadays? Like, I don't crack really know rock, how to, crack how rock. it goes. You know. How do you, where do you store it? You know, do you store it anywhere? You put it in the fridge, like, you microwave it when you're ready to go? I don't know. Like, Wait, I'm what? Crack what are you talking like, about? You know, I'm open. I'm giving it to the ride. I know you're not a real music fan. You're not a real, you're not a real rap fan. I and, don't man, know about that, Sean. Suck my dick. The next one I'm not going to play is Forever versus Stronger. I don't really like either of these yeah, tracks. Stronger, but Stronger, I mean, forever, you know, yeah. was played on every white fight film in, in, in history. It Roll rap, never, <laughs> right? never back down, head ass. Right? Never back down, head ass. for me. So, so I like forever, man. That hook is incredible. Can only make me stronger. I need you to hurry up now. Because I can't wait. My, man, I don't know. I, I never really liked stronger like that, man. I never really did. But at the same time, I hated the fact that forever, despite it having a legendary feature from... Kanye, Eminem, uh, Lil Wayne. I forgot who else. Was. I hated them on Lil the song because I'm just, oh, I think Wayne was on it too. I hated them why? on the song because it's <laughs> like, bro, why are this many rappers here? Like, I know it's a legendary track, but like, at the same time, I don't really like Stronger like that either, but it's not five niggas making the song worse. I'm going to give it to Stronger, man. All right, I'm giving it to Stronger. All right, next round. I disagree. Flashing lights I think Forever is better. Versus Headlines. Oh, man, y'all didn't, didn't expect Wait, that Wait, who did he say? I didn't expect that one. Stronger, man. All right, I'm giving it to Strong. All right, next round. Flashing lights oh. versus Headline. headlines. Oh, oh man, y'all didn't y'all didn't expect that one. Y'all didn't, oh, didn't expect that one. Flashing lights, easy, easily, not easy. Don't even do but... it to yourself. I know way too many people here right now. That Wait, that's a wrong song, nigga. That's over. Fuck. I just exposed myself. I had someone tell me I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. That's what that is. All right, relax. And they say, and they say, yeah, I'm back. I agree with that. And they say, ooh, I fell off. Ooh, I needed that. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, don't do it, hey, please don't do it, if one of us go in, then we all go through it, there we go, hey, 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 hey. let's try to get that out there, real quick. Don't do it, cause one of us goes in, and we all go through it, gotta say it, they know, they know, they know, headlines is so triumphant, it's like a victory lap, man, but flashing lights, man, flashing. Lights. You like the musicality, man. Kanye is just a genius. He is. What do I know? What do I know? You know what's so crazy? When before I even compared these two songs, I had no, I had no idea they both had like they know, I know in the chorus. I had no idea. These are both great tracks, but the musicality of.
Taz, this one for me. These are amazing songs, both of them. I, I wouldn't be mad at anybody if you decided on headlines, to be honest with you. Because I kind of want to pick headlines. That's just something they know. Because I didn't even know the hook to headlines before I listened to the song. And as I'm singing along to the lyrics, everything came back just that fast. Yeah, I Flash and Flash Lights and is lights. the same thing, though, man. Flash and Lights had more moments. Yeah. It did have more moments. I got to give it to Flash and Lights. I got to give it to Flash and Lights. Another yeah, fucking yeah, dub for Kanye. This next round really isn't fair. I wanted to include Over from Drake just to give him a chance at something, but I put it up against Homecoming, and oh, there's no way that Over is taking it over Homecoming. Don't do that, son. Do you think about me now and then? The next one I don't need to play as well. The, the song that's going up against the Drake song is gorgeous. Does it matter which Drake song is going up against? The track is fucking gorgeous. But I'll tell you, it's going up against... All me. I'm sorry. Oh gosh. Yeah, all right, next, else. next, Drake next. Has a very Drake limited break line, dog. When it comes to going up Ain't against no Kanye, he. I can feel it slowly slipping away from me. Come on, Kid Cudi, bro, on the hook, and Raekwon. All right, sorry. Does what against Two Chains, Big Sean? I know. Yeah. To get what two chains and big song? Yeah, all right. Next round, touch the sky versus trophies. Come on, man. Come on now, man. And and I forgot, you know, touch the sky got the Lupe feature. Drake, Drake. Oh, no way. I yeah, tried. I forgot. Yeah, I, I forgot about touch the sky. I haven't looked at that. It's like, all bro, time. I'm trying to give him a fighting chance. It's I just forgot like they did. Uh, right, touch the sky did have that Lupe fiasco feature. Out touch the sky i'm sorry this is where this is where i get frustrated with the people that are like oh we need a kanye west versus a drake battle i put pound cake which is a great song against never let me down which also has a yay or a drake of a uh, fuck which also has a jay-z feature and never let me down still came above that i actually had to think of be like in the wild oh. no church in the wild still beats yes now, this next round i did should yes. be illegal. Oh, the i low-key should be going to jail for this one i put jump man against love lockdown i know i know i'm trash go ahead tell me tell me again tell me keep telling me i only put them next to each other because they both have extremely repetitive hooks okay that is they both true. have extremely repetitive hooks i was actually gonna put jungle against love lockdown because they're both emotional, nah, jungle, sappy, bruh. driven tracks. Oh. I don't like Love Lockdown like that. I really don't. But when I listened to it when I was younger, like back in 09, 08, something like that, I like Love Lockdown a lot. I thought the instrumental Love Lockdown was amazing. I even loved when Trey Songs did a remix to it, a freestyle. Looking back on it, that Trey, so that Trey Songs verse was kind of weak. <laughs> but, you know, I was like, yo, it's the... Love, love lockdown instrumental like but jump man man i mean like come on jump man come on nothing's beating jump man jump man jump man you know what i'm saying uh, 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 i think i need some robot tussin like we like i love lockdown i love lockdown it's legendary but bro you're not playing love lockdown at the function you're, just, you're not doing that you're not doing that love lockdown bro turn that shit off i'm sorry i'm sorry turn it off what the fuck is wrong with me i put energy versus jesus walks what do these two tracks have in common? So it's like in Kanye's mind on Jesus Walks, the devil's trying to hold me down. But I'm going to keep walking anyway. And on this Drake cut, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies trying to drain me of this energy. Of this energy. Jesus Walks wins. Talk I can't even, there's no, no reason to even energy. rationalize this. These next two are about to be unfair because I have Find Your Love versus Heartless. And whichever way you want to look at this, even if you pick Find Your Love, you still be giving Kanye West the W because he's the one who made that track. Or one of its core contributors. I would give it to Find Your Love because I wasn't a big Heartless fan. I, I mean, people who know me know I wasn't a huge fan of 808. Yeah. So... Uh, I yeah, I, I, I'm gonna give it to Find Your Love. I so Kanye West still technically it. takes the dub. And I'm putting I myself in the exact same heart. position again with the next round because I'm comparing Say What's Real versus Through the Wire. And The Wire, Through the Wire, still. Oh, Through the Wire, wire. easily. No. College Dropout? Drake was spitting real shit, but not as real shit as Through the Wire. You're Kanye was literally rapping through a wire. Kanye was rapping through a wire. He actually had a wire in his mouth, dog. Spitting real stuff. Through a wire to illustrate the accident that you were in. That's always going to have the college w drop for me, right? So Kanye West takes it again with Through the Wire. And everybody listens, but somehow the truth just always comes up missing. Sylvia down bad right now. I know it. These next few rounds, I really don't care. I really don't care about. You know, uh, I put hell yeah fucking right 
versus uh, what was it? What was it? The the Good Life. I put it up against that. Y'all can go crazy over that one. I don't I don't really care who wins out of that. I'm giving it to Kanye West again. Kanye made music that you could just play for everyone. Yeah. And it wasn't cookie yeah. cutter. You listen, know, it wasn't pop music. And this it is was why still Kanye soul driven and listen, pop music. I don't care. Listen, y'all can call Kanye crazy, dumb, it has whatever. This man, you cannot knock this man's uh freaking IQ in the rap game. He's a genius in the rap game. Uh, freaking the word has one of the best wordplay, if not no, no, at that the best wordplay in the game. His flow, he can how he can just change it up every time, bro. I understand Kanye isn't like he isn't like how he is. He used to be and everything, but th- listen, he dropped banger project after. But I actually like 808 and, and heartbreak, but no, my the twisted fantasy, uh, bro, like that will that will always put Kanye at the top. Nobody's topping that album. Nobody. That's one of the greatest, if not top three, best albums of all freaking time, dog. That is Kanye's best project. And that album put him at the greatest rapper of all time, dog. And he even had even graduation, college dropout, you know? You even when you could throw in the Yeezus album, even though that's kinda like uh that's a love hate a love and hate relationship with that. I thought Yeezus at first, I freaking did not like the album, but as time it grew on me and I listened to it as I got older, the Yeezy's album, the Yeezy's album was actually pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty solid to me. But, like, just, just looking, and just, like, just watching this video and Sean just ta- describing and breaking everything down, it just go, it just shows even more how much of a genius Kanye is and there's nobody can touch him. There's nobody, not a lot of artists that can touch Kanye, man. I'm sorry. Pop and it had soul, and that's why you could always play it no matter what. Oh, 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 you like too much Wasanfa? You like too much Wasanfa? Bound to. If this video should tell you anything, it should tell you that Drake, unfortunately, stands absolutely no chance against Kanye West. That's all that this has told me. Not to say that this isn't something that I was thinking about prior to even considering making this video, but it's just something strongly confirmed after the fact people just casually throw anyone up against future you know i saw people talking about oh travis scott should be in a hit battle against future why in the fuck would you want travis scott to die that bad yeah, i didn't put jungle yeah. in this i love travis, Drake and I love Kanye travis West buddy. because yeah. i didn't want jungle to lose i really didn't i love jungle too much as a song to put it up against any kanye west song and just to be like oh yeah kanye's better than that I don't want to do that. Jungle has she a from special the place in my heart for now she from the and jungle. forever. Hey, did I treat it I like think it's somebody a whatever thing? Just because this shit is cover. everything to me. Don't know where we stand. I used to hit you about everything, oh. Uh. song meant so much to me back in 2015, bro. 2016, too. Like, that shit. Yeah, we're rad, though. We're rad. In the pits of my that soul, still, I couldn't that put that against still, anything and then like walk me. away satisfied with myself. I don't want to cry. Kanye West takes a W. Um, I plan on doing another hit battle. I don't know with who yet. Uh, you know, we might we might do something a little a little while. We might do album cuts from the weekend and Frank Ocean. We might do something like that. I don't know. We might. If y'all really want to see a decent versus battle? Let's put Jay Z closer to Kanye and let's put them in a versus, not Drake. Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey man, shout out to Sean C, bro. I appreciate it. This was a good watch. 33 minutes long. Uh, yeah, guys, this was a great video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, this is probably the last video I upload. I'm going to upload two more videos before this. So, drop a like, comment, subscribe if you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys in my next video. And, uh, yeah. Bye, Z. Also, thank you guys. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you guys so much for, like, you know, supporting the channel, man. You guys, I've, I've been gaining, I gained so many subscribers since I've been gone for those weeks. But we back in it now, man. We back in it. I'm trying to upload on the weekends again. I got a big project coming out really, really soon. So keep a lookout for that. Got a huge project, video project coming out. So keep a lookout for that. And, uh, yeah. Bye, Zeke!